Okay, let's talk uh, body attention and engagement. So this is really helpful for a lot of early on in your flying when you're still figuring out how to, you know, make your muscles work in the air. Um, it's really hard to tell your muscles what to do 23 feet in the air if they don't know how to do it on the ground. So let's practice some things on the ground. A big thing that, that people will always say is, squeeze your legs together, ankles together, ankles together. Fantastic. Now, why is that? Yeah, it's uh, more aesthetically pleasing than having your legs apart, but in reality, like if your legs open up and your sweet back, like it's not the end of the world. However, for most people, especially early on, those legs opening um, are a kind of hint, a uh, diagnostic thing that we see that means that you're you're not engaged. You're not, you know, using your body tension. You're not using the muscles that you need to use to keep yourself safe and, um, you know, perform the, the skills that we're asking for. So today on the ground, we're gonna work on what you wanna be feeling when you're in the air. Um, because when you're in the air, I can tell you to press your legs together, hold your ankles together, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, you'll do it for a round or two and when I remind you, but if it's not something that your body is used to, then you're not gonna do it when you're just doing tricks, okay? So let's practice on the ground and get our bodies used to it. So what I want you to do is I want you to find a nice seated position with your legs in front of you. And honestly, like you can, you know, be supporting yourself on your hands behind you, just don't like slouch. And I want you to think about your legs are together and I literally, you're not gonna see me move. I want you to squeeze your legs together and release. And squeeze and release. And I want you to squeeze and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. I mean, I feel that. <laughs> so that's super, you know, that's something where like your body is giving your own tension. So start working on that. Another thing you can do, I'm not going to demonstrate it here because I don't have the equipment for it. Um, or like, I also don't have a friend with me. What you can do is you can either put a TheraBand around like the leg of a table or something sturdy that's not going to move. Wrap it around your ankle and do a very similar thing. Just like squeeze your leg in and try to hold your legs together with that tension pulling on it and not letting it come apart. You can also ask a friend to do that and have, you know, lay there and have them try to pull your legs apart. And you just say, no, and you fight it, okay? And you're really thinking about pressing your whole legs together, not just your ankles, but your entire leg, okay? Um, also, if you're working on having nice straight knees, trying to straighten your legs so that your heels come off the ground, yours may, may or they may not. Some people's do, some people's don't. It's just your body anatomy, okay? Mine do a little bit. Um, some people's do a lot and some don't at all. But I want you to try to have that tension and try to get them off the ground and see and then squeeze it together and release. Okay, so there's that one. And then you're going to try it laying down too. Squeeze everything together and release. And then you'll try it in a hollow. Squeeze everything together and release. So we're just getting progressively a little bit more difficult each time. And that'll help you just like find that tension. Okay? Um, try to use that in your flying. Have fun.